Everything about you is closed. Life is the essence of living. But you must be able to understand the context of the life. Because this life is impossible for you to actually receive of this life until you go through another process, which I call the process of death. Not death as a spirit now, but death as a process. If your English means anything, there's death that end with D, right? Death that end with D is a process unto another life. So Paul the Apostle can say, I die daily. Why? Because he died into another form of life. And this is what we call the newborn experience. That anytime a believer comes, the Bible calls him a new creature. He died to his nature and take up another life. Death is a process eh, that inhibits the operation of death as a spirit and introduces life to a believer. The process of death must be embraced by anyone that intends to work with God. Because if you don't embrace death, you can never be able to contain life. Because naturally we are born with the nature of death. And that's why everything about us dies. Everything about creation is designed not to last forever. It's designed to decay unto death. And that is why whether you refuse to die, a day is going to come. A spirit called death. We come to let you understand that according to the code of creation, there is a time apportioned unto you to go. For men that have continually choose life, what happened to them is death as a process. Then they transit them. When you begin to journey with God, God begins to kill you daily. God ensures that you die to many things. But this death. You may not cease from living, but it's a process. A time will come, you realize that everything about you has changed. You don't even know why it happened. It's because you die daily from another form that is regulated by a spirit being to another form that is regulated by another nature. We don't have time to take you to a journey. The death of a process become a gateway into another life form. In the book of Romans 11, Romans 8, 11, the Bible speaking says, But if he, the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead, dead, what? T-E-A-D, dwell in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also what? Pick in your mortal bodies. By his spirit that dwelleth in you. Do you know that what dead as a spirit intended to do was to swallow Jesus? But what did Philip know on that was Jesus Christ went through death as a process, not death, giving him victory over him. So when he went through the process of death, it was to exchange a life and receive a superior life so that he can become an administrator of that life. The Bible said the first Adam was what? A living soul. The second Adam became a life-giving spirit. But for that second Adam to become that life-giving spirit, he must go through a process of death so that he can introduce life. But when a man do not go through the process of death, he go through death as a spirit. And death as a spirit is a harbinger that keeps the souls of men. Because on the last day, Everyone that is captured by death as a spirit will remain on, in bondage until the last days. But whosoever went through the process of death can live again and again and again. Because there is power of resurrection that lies in the spirit of life that can quicken. But a man that does not choose life can never embrace the process of death. At the tail end of his life or within instantaneous moments, death as a spirit swallowed him and he ceased to exist. But I told you that death as a spirit has a life form, has a nature, has a character. It is what regulates people daily and it has power over them.
and it is the essence and the reason why they live in evil and they express evil i get what i'm saying now a believer might have choose life yet he will go through the process of death as a process and continue to express more of god but he whosoever choose death as a spirit we live a life as he wants, but he will be guarantee of evil. And at the tail end, that death as a spirit will swallow him. And the only thing that will save him eh, is that at the tail end, he will be given a portion in hell. Then, even hell as a spirit will not be translated to get into the lake of fire. Because the Bible says the tail end, death will give up all the soul it has swallowed. So everyone that has choose death will be under the bondage of death and at the tail end they will be translated to the lake of fire. But whosoever that has chosen life will continue to express life. And the more as he continually to go through the process of death he will continue to express more of life. I hope I'm basic enough for you to understand because I'm going through a journey. I hope we arrive safely. I'm trying to introduce you the reason why Jesus Christ has to be introduced and the reason why Jesus Christ has to die. God never intend to allow Jesus Christ to choose death because Jesus never chose death. When he went to hell, in hell, death was trying to exercise dominion. But Jesus said, No, I came with life. The Bible says he will not allow his soul to carry in hell. In the same way, you can never be able to understand the writings of Jesus. When he looked at matter, he told that your, husband, your brother is not dead, as you cannot understand. Because Lazarus has always chosen life. He looked at her and he said, What has happened to this guy is a process. He was about to be elevated into another realm. Let me tell you a quick story. Everyone that is working with God today, they will tell you once upon a time they have a near death experience. They almost died and the Lord saved them. In that death, now they express life. Because anytime you are about to be advanced, somehow something kills you. When the light of the Lord appears to you, suddenly you die and you are permitted to live again. All the time that Jesus Christ appeared to me, I died. He stretched out his hand towards me and released another life and I came back to life again. Because the process of death always introduces another life. When the Lord wants to elevate you, what he does is that he brings you to another process of death. That prayer, that fasting, all the things you do, it brings you to a point where you die daily. But as you die, the Bible says, although the outer man perish, but the inner man is renewed day by day. See, there is the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. If that spirit dwells in your mortal body, it will quicken your mortal body and give you life. 